part two of looking at the national costumes from the 2019 Miss Universe. If you see your country and knows what it's representing, comment below. Miss Indonesia, interesting, but I, I like the execution. Miss Israel, I'm actually not a fan of this. I wasn't a fan of their 2021 costume either. Miss Jamaica, now Jamaicans, please explain this to me because I'm not gonna lie, I expect a lot of crazy, cool, amazing colors like Carabana theme, but let me know. Miss Japan, she looks like she's having fun. Miss Kazakhstan, traditional, eh? Yeah. Miss Kenya, personally, I feel like the outfit could have used more fullness, come together more. I'm not too sure. Miss Korea, love traditional. Miss Kosovo, if I'm not mistaken, the 2021 look had the same theme, but this one is a lot more done up. I like it. Miss Laos, props and everything, love. Miss Lithuania, taking the traditional route. Miss Malta, can't say I'm a fan of the execution. Miss Myanmar, went all the way, love that for her. Miss Mexico, are her legs gold too? Oh my goodness. Miss Namibia, excuse my pronunciation. Nepal, pretty. Mongolia, love the execution. Welcome back to everyone's favorite series, book cited because of book talk and my honest, genuine opinions on them. So good, so cute. Like Netflix, make a rom-com out of this. But also I think it did a good job of tackling racism and homophobia. And the ending was really satisfying because everyone got what they deserved, good or bad. I will say though, the pop culture references, could have done without them. Also, the romance is adorable, it's sapphic, yes. If you ever thought I was gonna shut up about this book, no, <laughs> absolutely not. Um, genuinely, this is the biggest brain move ever because the plot was so intricate and I was just constantly being surprised, being shocked, just 10 out of 10. This book did a great job addressing institutionalized racism, educational barriers and homophobia, and just <sighs> the epilogue, I, I can't. One of my most anticipated releases of the year did not disappoint. The characters were so complex, there was so much LGBTQ plus representation, and this made me cry. Hell is a place where people will literally burn in the fiery pits of hell. The grocery store is a store where people go to buy groceries. A movie theater is a theater to watch movies. A washing machine is a machine where clothes get washed. Which race are you? African American, Asian, disabled, Hispanic, LGBT, veteran, or woman? There is a house built out of stone one two three let's switch this up i see you at the movie <laughs> walk a mile in these louboutins oh no i got a disease how are you hey hey i walk around like that <laughs> is who here henderson <laughs> Okay, like crisscross. Americans eat burgers. <laughs> yeah, well, British people eat tea and crumpets. <laughs> At least I don't get shot in the face in algebra class! And our buildings never get hit by planes, jolly- Fuck it. 
ignore the face mask, but if you want a super cool nickname, the key is to remove the last three letters of your name. Ready? Here's an example. Here's my name. Bam. Shit. Just out here at Home Depot checking out paint strips. We got the regular ones, we got toasty gray, ginger tea, climate change. <laughs> Are you sexually active? Yes. Okay, mama, go off, queen. I'm sorry, what? Nothing, nothing. Um, I just ask everyone this. Does June hold any significance to you? Is that like an important month or anything? Yeah, it does actually. Okay, perfect, perfect. That's actually my birthday. Okay, do you listen to Girl in Red at all? Do you do that? I don't- I'm sorry, who? Okay, you know what? Are you a- Let's take a look at the national costumes from 2019's Miss Universe. Starting off with Miss Denmark, I have no clue what this represents, but I'm also not from Denmark. This skirt kind of looks like cheap material, but maybe it's a native material, I don't know. Miss Dominican Republic, she didn't hold back, but she didn't hold back in like a good way. Ecuador, love the colors, love the headpiece. Miss Egypt, it's always a shame when people use like this gold material because it always looks cheap. Miss Finland, I'm not a fan of the execution with like the pants i don't know france always goes scandalous and i'm i'm here for it i need her shaving routine miss georgia this picture just makes her look like she hates her life but she probably doesn't miss germany i'd love to know what this means if somebody knows in the comments please let me know miss great britain personally i don't really think this is well done but that's my opinion miss guam i kind of love this but then again i think it's open at the front i don't really know how that looks but yeah miss Honduras, love yeah miss iceland looking like a nice queen miss india this is beautiful amazing gorgeous and I'm just, I'm so excited I get to be the person to tell you this. You taste protons all the time. It's what sour is. Sa that's the flavor sour is your mind detecting protons. So one proton with one electron, that's a hydrogen atom. One proton without an electron, that's a hydrogen ion. What else do we know as hydrogen ions? acids. So acidic things are just things that increase the concentration of hydrogen ions, or protons, in water. And acidic things taste sour because you're detecting the proton! Lemons, tomatoes, frickin' pickles. All of those things are acidic. They have a higher concentration of protons than normal water. And there are little proteins on our tongues that bond to those hydrogen ions. And when they do that, they change shape and that sends an electrical impulse to your brain that your brain detects as sour. Can you taste electrons? No, I'm sorry. I saved that to the end and it was the least interesting part. Like it anyway! Hey Chris. What? I have a dad joke for you. What? <laughs> what sound does a witch's vehicle make? What? 
Vroom, vroom. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey Shane, I have a joke for you. What is it? What's brown and sticky? <laughs> a stick. <laughs>